I think the character is a modern knight in armor. The idea of landing a superhero within the consciousness of Western civilization. The vision that came to me that there was this overlay of the American Jesus. There's a sincere purity about his goals, and yet he promises action. What are your prime directives? Robocop. Who is he? What is he? Where did he come from? We wanted to grab people by the throat. We were so on target. The movie is so precise. What really made it a masterpiece, I think, is Paul Verhoeven. The Verhoeven mantra was blood. I want more fucking blood. <laughs> you know, shoot him up and blow it up. Bloody it up. They were putting more squibs on my body than anyone in film history. I always saw the gang as guys that were having fun. Can you fly, Bobby? I said, this guy's a real sadistic bastard, <laughs> but he enjoys it. Being part of a gang and being a badass, how many kids want to play that? Your move, creep. All I remember is a wall of flame coming straight at me. We were all like, ah! We just did some stuff that you wouldn't do as a professional actor. I like it! Peter Weller was very serious. Better alive, you're coming with me. He's one of the most disciplined people I've ever met in my life. Murphy, it's you. One of the greatest challenges I ever had in my entire life to make that work. Definitely the best robot suit ever. The chest will be the first thing to react, and then the neck, and then the head. Almost every sound in RoboCop was created and recorded originally for the picture. Stop motion adds to the effect of robots. You can infuse it with a certain mechanical look. I'm now authorized to use deadly force. Drop it! RoboCop was a very difficult shoot. Maggie blow this cocksucker's head off. I don't think anybody had a good time on that picture. It was non-stop. The MPAA changed rules after that movie. The whole film was pretty much in danger. They're going to shut us down. He felt that he was betrayed. I was dead. You're going to be a bad motherfucker. Mixing politics and action. Fire! I think we got there first. Wow, this is different than anything I'd ever seen. Get them before they get you. It's a great satire. Future seeing in a way, and people got a kick out of that. I'm sure it's only a glitch. Real sophisticated comedy. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Ryan was in financial trouble. They immediately wanted to do another one. The film took a radical turn. It was not the original script. It was dark. There was a meanness about it. It was really scary to me. This brother is not dying in the first 15 minutes. Some of our humanity is being squeezed out of us by technology. There was a lot more blood, sweat, and tears back in the day. As digital technology was taking over more and more, we had to get into digital effects too. There is a family dynamic that's kind of unique. It's not pretty in real life, but playing a character, it's fun. Whoa, this is, you know, the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I was a kid. What the hell is that? I mostly made fun of him being in the suit. You know, I would... What's bugging you, Murph? Kane's bugging me. Kane was the Swiss Army knife robot. This idea that this was coming from a comic book writer to try to bring some of that comic pulp feel to it. Orion had licensed the character to comic books, toys, the animated series. Robocop. It had a kind of eye candy to kids. By the time you have the third film, the studio said to me, we're looking for a kinder, gentler Robocop. Don't. It was the most amazing thing to open up Ed 209 and control him with a laptop. Eat lead suckers. <laughs> I'm playing this ninja, but I have no martial arts background. You called for backup? Wait a minute, that's my voice. Holy fuck. Where's McDaggett? You fantasized that you could be a genocidal maniac. Can't count on it, chum. <gasps> 
They're gonna kill her. I just knew they were gonna do that. I was so upset. Get them from me. If I'd done all the crazy stuff that I was afraid to do, like kill Nancy and have her come back as a cyborg, the movie probably would have done pretty well. I think my dentist saw it before I did. We're cutting edge here, baby Robo Supply. Robocop is an icon. People relate to it to this day. Today's world needs a Robocop. This is a guy who's gonna show up and do the job. A wonderful, unique hero. That's the lightning in the bottle. Every successive generation discovers it for themselves. So I think there's an ongoing fascination, and that keeps him relevant. Stay out of trouble.